So we have Isa alayhi salatu was salam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, he began to call the people. He was so compassionate. He was such a beautiful man. He was so loving. He spoke to people with so much love and passion. He really wanted them to earn paradise. And he was such a beautiful human being. Not only was he a person who was very good looking, but at the same time, calm, relaxed individual with qualities that were super, subhanallah. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, فَلَمَّا أَحَسَّ عِيسَى مِنْهُمُ الْكُفْرَ قَالَ مَنْ أَنصَارِي إِلَى اللَّهِ When Isa alayhi salam noticed that these people are all disbelieving, no one wants to accept my message. He uttered a word. He asked a question. Who is going to be from amongst the helpers of Allah? Who wants to help the cause of their maker? So there were a certain number of people. Some narrations say 17 people. But the bulk of narration say there were 12 people who came forth and they said, Allah says, قَالَ الْحَوَارِيُّونَ نَحْنُ أَنصَارُ اللَّهِ آمَنَّا بِاللَّهِ وَاشْهَدْ بِأَنَّا مُسْلِمُونَ The Hawariyun, the disciples, there was a certain number of men. I told you the most correct opinion, they were 12. The Quran says they came up and they said, we believe in Allah, we will assist the cause, you write our names or bear witness that we are from amongst those who are submitters unto our maker and creator. Never did Jesus, may peace be upon him, call anybody to worship him. He always said, worship the maker who made you. And he always came up with the statements that were very clear cut. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant us a deeper understanding.